In this video, I'm going to show you how I use this masking fluid to maintain the outline of my drawing even after putting in a very dark background with graphite powder. I'll be using a makeup sponge to apply the graphite powder, but because it's going to be so dark, it's going to run over the outline and the outline is going to disappear and be undefined and I don't want to lose the outline. Also, I don't want to lose the outer perimeter of the picture as well. So first of all, I will use masking tape to do the outside perimeter and then I'm going to use masking fluid to define the outline of the car. I bought this bottle of masking fluid in Japan. That's why it's got Japanese written on it. It's put out by Holbin. Any equivalent would do the same job. I'm just dabbing some of the masking fluid on a separate piece of paper, on a pad of paper there. Just let me know when it is dry, I can test that separately. You just apply using an ordinary brush. I used an old brush that I don't think has been used before. It was very clean, so that's one thing you need to be careful of. You don't want to put old paint or any other kind of markings on your clean piece of paper. So make sure it's clean and just follow the line as you would do if you were just as if you were painting then wait for it to dry now this masking fluid is water based so you can just add water if you need to thin it out uh, however i didn't find the need to do that in this particular case now all you need to do is just wait uh, for it to dry so the masking fluid has now dried i left it for 30 minutes but i think it was probably dry after only about 15. now it's time to apply the graphite powder using a makeup sponge as you can see it shows up darker when it brushes over the dried masking fluid i used the ground stadler mars lumograph black 8b lead and it, it takes a lot of time a lot of work to actually get it this dark a bit of patience as well as you can see it gets very dark because i want a very dark background and now if i hadn't have applied the masking fluid i would have totally lost the outline of the car and you'd have to redraw it again or you'd have to rub out the the background the graphite that you put in you'd have to make the line using an eraser pen which is not ideal now it's time to remove the masking except for the outer perimeter which i will leave until the end of the drawing so i decided to use an eraser pen just for accuracy i don't really like to touch the drawing directly with my fingers a lot of people use their fingers when they're removing dried masking fluid which is normally used for watercolour painting actually. Anyway, so I prefer to start with an eraser pen but then once it gathers you can pick it up like this quite easily and it's very elastic and it does it just simply doesn't break. I mean I didn't try pulling it too much but it's, it's very very flexible and very gentle so it won't ruin the paper or damage anything um, with your drawing. It won't damage your drawing. You can just pull it off. Uh, I would advise doing it gently just in case. So it just comes off really nicely. And it leaves quite a nice line there. In hindsight, however, I should have applied a much wider band of masking fluid so I wouldn't have to deal with this dark graphite residue, which was not easy to remove actually. Okay, so then I used the masking fluid again to define the underside of the car, including the tires. Now it's time to peel off the masking, starting again with the eraser pen just to get me started and then pulling the rest off quite easily there and it gives this kind of result. To see other drawing techniques and tips click here and to see the entire video of me drawing this picture click here.